the cutest on my voice. It's not it's too flipping cute, right? Honestly, it's such, she's such a vibe. Such a vibe. Some Yoko Coco bikinis, and this is for Danny, based in New York. And as you can see, they're so cute. We love to pay key details and attention to personalize our products in the best possible way, so you know our customers can get the best um, experience from us when purchasing from us. And as you can see here, I am just stress testing our signature silver trim logo that is on our swimwear and this is just to make sure that there will be no form of issues regarding quality control you know when you are selling garments to your customers you just want to ensure that every part of the garment is up to a high standard so just run through that one more time so it was one reversible yeah one plane and then a cover-up skirt Okay. Uh, so that's something, that's something to bear in mind. 
A plain bikini. No scenes of our Saray 2024 summer collection fit meeting with our model Mercia and our enhanced designers look at the crystals and everything just is amazing these are the first samples so it's just making sure how to improve the fit and just make sure the comments for the next samples are perfect to a T. This is kind of like a necklace with a wrap top and that's actually just a sarong skirt but actually it just looks like a yeah. piece yeah the twist details, the inbuilt one. This is a move on from that. Yeah. But it's a dress. Yeah. I'm leaning towards that one. I would have put that in the collection. Though. Which one? That top here. <laughs> it is a beautiful dress, but maybe it's just not the time. Yeah. yeah. But I do think it should be in a lace. Yeah, I think it would be magnificent, but maybe it's another point. Yeah, I think another point. Mm. But I do like it. What if it was like um, mini? Not many, but like shorter. Do you think it could work in the collection? I just feel like, because obviously with this collection, this is like solid, we like sanded in. Obviously, our last collection, we didn't really have a name for it, it's just the pieces. So I'm trying to think like the next collection. This one. Yeah, this one. What would it? I feel like it's like Island Girl. It's yeah. like really intense. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Shoot, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, well, like if you look at the mood board, like it's yeah. a vibe. It's giving it's like, very luxe. Yeah. It's yeah. very yeah. tropics. Yeah. Like, yeah. For this to me is like premium Island Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like the word luxe. Like, it's giving something that. Like when you're when like I don't know how to explain it, like you just you know when you want to go all out like yeah I'm going all out. That's yeah. what this reminds me of. Like the holiday holiday expensive, expensive. my outfit is expensive. expensive. Look expensive. Yeah. So yeah. Like I definitely feel like that last one I always said can work as a shorter version of lace. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to make sure that like, our garments are really nice. Well,
hey guys so i'm back and this is just my little unboxing and first impressions from what i purchased at the kemp's beauty pop-up shop and i predominantly went for some new skincare so i got this body scrub which is really meant to help exfoliate your skin and get rid of a lot of dead skin cells and i got the hydro glow serum as well i've been using it for a while and it's been amazing on my skin um the people there were so helpful at chem's beauty and i ended up on a whim getting new makeup brushes because my current and old makeup brushes are in tatters like i ruined them doing the pillow trick in the washing machine so yeah that at the end of its life and i when i touched these i just couldn't say no like look at them they look so elite they're so soft it's given professional even though i'm definitely not a professional in makeup and i just about know how to do my own and my mum's but yeah guys i was really happy with what i purchased I'm definitely trying to invest more back into myself especially when it comes to taking care of my natural self from my skin to my nails and I guess just finding a sense of self again one day later you wanna go back in? yeah Hey guys, I know this angle is not the best, but this is my morning routine and I have the free soul greens, especially when I'm intermittent fasting and going to the gym. This is the only thing I will drink, apart from water till 3pm. Then I made my way to the gym, started with the Stairmasters, I'm really trying to build a disciplined habit of going to the gym. I used to be a gym girlie before, but then I fell off and it's just been really difficult. But incorporating the gym and running has done wonders for my mental health. So definitely trying to keep that going. I didn't really have a specific routine. I just knew I wanted to focus on full body and a bit of glute exercises, which is what I did. So I was happy with that. social media in the UK you can get some legal assistance at pro bonos so I yeah. know there's enterprise pro bonos they won't be able to give you like full legal advice but they will be able yeah. to help you and I think that's really good I think as well specifically for fashion what I used to do is I would try and find specific cases where there was a breach and then research how the dispute was dealt with so like yeah. um a great example is that I know like I'm just trying to get my I'm just trying to get my people straight, girl. 